Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. In my ongoing series of the Gimbal application, I am now showing you another practical video that is not very often used with the Gimbal but can provide immense value while doing the photography and that is to use the focus motor on the Gimbal. This allows us to use the camera using the focus motor. So why should we use the focus motor on the Gimbal? The reason is that when we use the gimbal in the standard configuration without the focus motor then we have to move forward or backward in order to get closer to the subject that we are filming. It is not possible for us to zoom the lens and get close up to the subject in this mode. The Ronin RSC2 focus motor is used to adjust the iris and control the focus and zoom. So if we use the zoom motor on the gimbal then while using the dial or the focus motor, we can zoom towards or away from the subject and this helps us get really nice videos, smooth and without any bumps or glitches. So let's start by seeing what's included in the focus motor kit. Please note this motor and its accessories are a part of the pro combo kit. This includes First the focus motor, then the rod mount, the 12mm rod, all the screws, the focus gear strip, a 3mm hex wrench and a multi camera controlled cable. This is all the stuff you will find with the focus motor. Now let's see how we are going to attach the focus motor to the gimbal. The first way to attach the focus motor is to attach the rod mount with the large camera riser using two screws. Once you have done this, insert the rod in the rod mount. And tighten it. Fix the camera to the camera riser and slide it into the quick release plate and lock it so that the camera is in place with the rod mount and the rod. Now it is time to mount the camera on the gimbal. But before you mount the camera on the gimbal, please attach the belt holder on the lens and make sure that the teeth of the belt holder are facing outwards. This belt has to be put on your zoom ring. Align the focus motor by putting it on the rod and moving it forward or backward depending on where your focus belt is on the lens. Let's tighten the focus motor to the rod by moving the lock knob which is under the focus motor. After you have attached everything, you have to balance the camera and the gimbal again because there is additional weight of the focus motor on the gimbal's tilt and the roll axis. Now let's look at the second way of installing the focus motor. Here we attach the rod mount to the lower quick release plate with the appropriate screws. Now let's fix the rod in the rod mount. Now fix the small camera riser on the camera and tighten it. Mount the camera on the quick release plate. Once 
Once we have done all of this, it's time to mount the camera on the gimbal. But again, before you mount the camera on the gimbal, please make sure that the belt on the lens is at the right place and make sure that the teeth of the belt are outwards. Now align the focus motor by putting it on the rod and moving it forward or backward depending on where your focus belt is. Tighten the focus motor by moving the rod with the lock knob which is under the focus motor. Here again, once everything is attached, we have to balance the camera and the gimbal before we can use it. Now that we have installed the focus motor, now let's see how we can connect the gimbal with the focus motor. It is recommended that you use the multi-camera control cable USB-C 30cm to connect the focus motor to the DJI RSC2 motor port which is also a USB-C port. Now when we want to control the focus motor with the front dial, we have to use the image transmitter or the focus motor port to connect it with the gimbal. Uh, to connect it with the motor. Remember the other two slots are for the Raven Eye. I have explained the Raven Eye in an, another video of mine. To use the focus motor of the gimbal, we have to go into the menu of the gimbal. For this, there is a scroll on the left side which will show you different menu options. And when you find the focus dial, click on the focus dial. And you will see the focus motor option and click on that. And now the focus motor is enabled with the scroll dial. However, you can even add some more fine tuning to this. When you click on the focus motor option, you can get the option of speed. This will define the speed of the zoom of the lens and you will also find another option called smooth and this will define the smoothness of the lens so that you do not get jerks in your recording. I hope you have been able to understand how to use the focus motor to zoom in and out in your videos and in my next video, I will try to explain some more details that how you can use this motor to adjust your focus also. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon so that when I upload my next video, you can get notified. And do not forget to comment. It will really help me.